guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to film kind of like a day in my life as a teacher during quarantine um, so I am a high school English teacher I work at a charter high school and I have been working from home since the beginning of March well I'm gonna say mid-March um, so it's been a while now uh, I have a routine down that I have been working on um, if you're new to my channel please subscribe I upload new videos every Wednesday and every Saturday um, and click the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video um, I would like to say that um, even though I have a routine every day is kind of is a little bit different so today I woke up pretty early um, I took a shower still haven't dried my hair but I did my makeup um, and not every day is like this for sure like um, probably um, only Wednesdays and Fridays today is Monday so today um, I did get ready only because I do have a few staff meetings um, so I have scheduled staff meetings on Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, today was kind of just like a bonus staff meeting. Bonus. <laughs> um, but so I like to get ready on those days, um, not just for the meetings, but just because it just, at least I'm getting ready some days, you know? Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays are, are not like that. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays I kind of just like roll out of bed right before <laughs> I'm gonna start work. Um, I do keep in contact with my students. Um, I don't always do, I don't do like the Zoom um, lectures or stuff like that. Um, my day is a little bit different. Um, well, I, I think that every every teacher does something different. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take you guys along with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to just like set up um, where I do my work. So I do my work in my like dining area. Um, I do have a desk in my bedroom, um, but there's like all kinds of rules that were set when we went virtual or distant, or distance learning um, that like, that were set in stone just like don't have like a bed in your background and just, just like random things so that's why I don't um, work in my bedroom just because you know if I do have to do like a virtual call or like a zoom meeting or something like that I just don't want to have to like move all my stuff so I just work in my dining room area um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys like how I set up what I have and what I do throughout my day as a teacher during quarantine <laughs> Okay, so this is kind of my little setup. I'm just at my dining room table. Um, the background is like a plain background, so it's really good if I have like any types of meetings, um, if I need to talk to a student or a staff member. Um, and I have my laptop set up here. This is actually, this is actually Daniel's laptop, um, but I just prefer to use his laptop. I do have a laptop that was provided to me for my work. Um, but I just prefer to work on a Mac. I just feel like I work faster on a Mac So that's why I'm I'm using this sometimes I do use my work laptop, but I prefer this one. Um, I have this acrylic stand um, That I got from Amazon. I can link it down below if you guys want to purchase it. It was It was decent price. I think it was like $25 um, but I really like it because when I need to set up to watch a video um, or if I'm doing like a zoom meeting um, It's really just like helpful to be like elevated and it's not like an awkward angle um, So I really like that when I'm typing and stuff I don't really use it to type just because like it hurts me like right here on my wrist um, But when I'm watching videos or I'm or if I'm making videos, um, I definitely like using this um, and then So I have my phone because that's something that I'm used throughout the day as a teacher because um, I use Google Voice so I have a Google Voice phone number um, and that's how that's what I use to communicate with my students well that's one form of communication that I use with my students so I also use um, obviously email um, I use Google Classroom as well um, but mostly my students really just like to text um, the ones that stay in contact would just prefer a text or a phone call which is easier for me as well so uh, that's perfectly fine so I use the Google voice number so I get the text message to my phone and they get the text message or call to their phone but it's not my personal cell phone number which I really like um, the downside of that is that 
I, I know a lot of teachers are experiencing this right now. Um, I can text and call all day long, like during school hours and not get like any responses. And then like, you know, five, six, seven o'clock at, at night, eight o'clock at night, or even later sometimes I get my phone just like blows up with a bunch of like questions or um, like students like submitting things through text and it's just, um, that's just how it is. You know, um, a lot of my students work right now. Uh, so some of them, you know, like work in the, in the food industry. Um, I have a lot of students that are helping out their parents because their parents are at work. So they are taking care of younger siblings. Um, like I said, I am a high school teacher. So my students are at the age where they are getting jobs now. Um, some of my students are parents. So you, that's a job in itself. Um, I have a, a, a few students actually that are now working like construction or like heavy labor jobs with their parents and um, so I just praise those students. I mean, I, I can't imagine having to live through this like pandemic. Um, it's, it's a crazy time in general, having to work full time and to go to school full time at the, at the same time is very hard and being 16, 17 years old. Um, so I praise those students. Um, I'm being, and I hope a lot of teachers are being like, I'm being very lenient about, um, you know, like deadlines and just stuff like that because, you know, it's just, it's a crazy time. And it's, it's not, it's not fair. Um, and it's, I don't know. I just feel like it's, I should not be another cause of stress to them. Um, so yeah, so I'm very lenient on that stuff. So communication through my phone is really helpful for them as well. Um, so I have my laptop set up and then I just keep um, a notebook as well. So I just have this notebook just to keep notes on random things, you know, that happen throughout the day. Like if I get like an email or like a Google chat from any coworker or my boss saying like, this is a new practice we're doing now. I'll just write it down. Um, so I have it. Then I also keep a folder here with um, the units that my students are working on. So if they have a question and I'm not entirely sure what they're talking about, I'll pull this out so I can look through it and make sure, like go to the page that they're on and look at exactly what they're looking at um, so that I can help them in a better way or understand what they're asking me. Um, so like I said, I've been working distance learning since um, mid-March. I don't remember the exact date, but mid-March. Um, and my students are finishing up their, their or my class with me. Um, so I have a lot of students that finished on Friday. Um, our school is very, um, it's not a traditional school setting. So students really can finish at their own rate. Uh, we do allow a lot of students to um, make up work and turn in stuff late, um, even before this pandemic. So now, obviously, we're continuing that and we're doing, uh, we're being a little bit more lenient with the with the deadlines and stuff. So I have students that are finished. I have students that are not even close to being finished, but that's okay. Um, hopefully, they still have time. Our school year doesn't end till I believe March 22nd, no, May 22nd. Um, so there's still time, you know, about a little less than a month. Um, so hopefully, all of my students get to finish this semester. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I do teach high school English. I teach ninth grade and 10th grade English. And the way our school works is that um, I have a variety of ages in my classes. I don't just have ninth grade and 10th grade students um, because our school is meant for credit recovery. So I might have a senior in my class that's uh, retaking ninth grade English, um, just stuff like that. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna, so the first thing I do is I check my emails um, because I always wake up to like 1,000 emails and I'm just kidding, but it, it feels like that sometimes. Um, and what I'm gonna do is because I had students finish on Friday, I have quite a few units that I need to grade and like input their grades. Not quite a few, I would say like, like a handful. Um, so I'm gonna start off with that. I'll probably do that for maybe like an hour and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and make some breakfast during that time or after that. 
uh, because I am getting pretty hungry, but I try to drink like a full glass of water, like it's it's a pretty big glass, uh, before I eat breakfast and get some work done before I eat breakfast. Okay, so um, I got about an hour's worth, hour and a half worth of work done. It's about 9.30 right now. And I'm going to just um, take a little break, like a 10, 15 minute break to make some breakfast. Um, sometimes I'm really hungry right when I wake up. Sometimes I'm not. Today I was not that hungry. And I tried to drink a lot of water so that I'm just not um, eating just to eat. Um, but what I do is basically, like I said, I check my emails and then I had some work that I needed to grade and, um, like input grades. Um, I also have a schedule with my students. So I did half an hour blocks, um, uh, per student. So I am in contact with my students at least once a week. Most of them, if they're in contact with me, it's more than once a week, um, but they're only required to like be in contact with me at least once a week. Um, so what, ideally what it's supposed to be is that I call them, we talk for that half an hour um, about the work that they're getting done, if they have any questions, um, if they need any help with it. We can also do like um, virtual like chat so we can see each other if we need to um, but I find that like most of my students do not want to do that and I get it like sometimes they're just you know like their environment is just not fit for that and I understand that um, but yeah so I um, contact them they know their schedule or they should know their schedule um, sometimes a lot of times they're not available at the time that they're scheduled like, um, you know, at the beginning of this quarantine, they felt like that time on um, that day was fine. And then things come up. Maybe their work now. Um, it just, things come up. So I understand. So there will be half an hour slots that I don't talk to a student. Um, and that's okay. So I have other things that I need to get done as well. Um, but I still make sure that I contact them. So I'll call them. If they don't answer, I'll send them a text. Usually students will get back to me by the end of the day. Um, sometimes they don't get back to me um, that day. Maybe the next day. I usually give them like a day and a half. And if they still have not gotten back to me, then I'll try calling it them again um like i said so some students don't answer so i have time in between so say on monday i tried to call my nine o'clock appointment they didn't answer they didn't get back to me and then on wednesday um my 11 o'clock appointment didn't answer either i can go through my list and see like oh hey my nine o'clock appointment on monday didn't answer so i'm gonna go ahead and call them again right now to see if i get in, in contact with them um Every week, every week, it's a hit or miss. Like, honestly, every week is different. So I have students that are really consistent. I have students that are never consistent. I have students that um, might be consistent one week and then they're not the other. So it just varies. Um, and 
I'm not their only teacher so then if I really cannot get in contact with them I try calling parents too and I can't get in contact with them then I will call um, or speak to any other of their teachers and just say hey like I can't get in contact with Susie can you have you talked to her um and sometimes it's the same usually it's the same all the way around like everybody like was like no we can't can't contact Susie we don't know what's going on with Susie um but sometimes they're like oh yeah I, I just spoke to her her phone is out of service she called me from her mom's phone or you know um things come up so communication I feel is like the biggest thing um for this time like during quarantine and and distant learning is um the only way to like succeed through this um but even then it's it's still tough like i'm still i'm not in my classroom i'm not interacting with my students you know um daily um it's, it's just so different and i think it's just really important for for everybody to understand that so um not just like students and parents but teachers as well that um we really don't know like what's going on with our students like outside of school you know they might share some things with us and some students might not share anything with us um but i think it's just like um important to be just like really understanding about it so okay i think i i talked enough um and i'm getting hungry now so i'm gonna go ahead and just um make something to eat right now and then um get back to work okay so i'm gonna go ahead and eat breakfast while i still do some work right here i just made some avocado toast and a smoothie i know the smoothie looks really weird because it's a weird color it's just because i also i put spinach in it and uh, some fruit so it just makes a weird color but it tastes really well or it tastes really good um and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and continue until lunchtime. so my lunch is from 12 to one o'clock so um what i'm gonna do today since i haven't done my hair i just let i just let it like air dry um i'll probably do my hair and then make some lunch or vice versa if i'm really hungry then i'll just eat lunch first um but i do have an hour lunch so it's really nice because i have a lot of time to get things like to get something done and also eat lunch Okay, hi guys. So it is lunchtime right now. Um, I wasn't really hungry at the beginning of lunch, so I went ahead and just did my hair. Um, and now I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and warm up some leftovers. So last night um, I made some green enchiladas and rice. I'm just gonna have that for lunch because I have just enough for like one more plate, so I might as well eat it now. Um, and yeah, and then after lunch, I'm just gonna go ahead and get back to work. I got all my grading done um all i need to do is i have a few phone calls i need to make to students and i'm going to just hit up the students that are a little bit more behind to see if they need any help or um if they're done with their units okay so this is lunch i'm just gonna have my green enchiladas some rice and a little bit of salad and a iced water and i did make some cookies last night um so i felt like my measurements were off so instead of making like a bunch of regular sized cookies after I, I felt like i messed it up i just made one large cookie to like finish off the dough but turns out they came out like pretty good so i should have just made a bunch of cookies but now i just have that like huge cookie for no reason but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch now. Okay guys, so um, hopefully you got a little bit of insight of what it's like 
to be a teacher teaching from home, um, distance learning, uh, Zoom University, no I'm just kidding. Um, but basically, uh, yeah, it's it's a whole a whole nother game uh, compared to teaching in a classroom. Um, sorry if you can hear uh, my washer in the background; it's super loud. Uh, but that's something that like that's part of like the issue sometimes. It's like, um, of course, I want to like run laundry or like the dishwasher while I'm at home, but I'm also like technically in my office or in my classroom at the moment. Uh, but yeah, so it every day is different. Um, some days are really, really chill. I might not talk to a lot of students. I might not even talk to a lot of staff. Some days are really hectic where I have a lot of students um, coming with questions or turning in work. I'll have staff meetings. Um, like you saw earlier, I had a staff meeting. Um, that one was a pretty short one, so it was only about 30 minutes. Some of our staff meetings go over an hour, um, which is, you know, sometimes really necessary. A lot of a lot of changes happen have happened during this time so um, that's just one way of communication with um, my staff is like we'll have staff meetings we'll do we'll have zoom or Google Hangouts meetings um, which is cool to well, you get to see your you know like your co-workers and stuff uh, definitely not the same uh, but yeah so uh, that was just uh, one day in my life as a high school teacher doing distance learning um, if you guys have any questions about what um, it's like to be a teacher at home or what I'm specifically doing with my students, um, go ahead and leave your uh, questions down below in the comments. Um, I hope you guys have a really good day. I just want to uh, end this video by saying that um, the best thing you can do during this time, whether you're a teacher, a student, or a parent is to remain positive. So this is a hard time for all of us. So it's a hard time for your teachers. Uh, it's a hard time. We understand that it's a hard time for students. Um, and it's a hard time for parents as well. And um, remember that this has never happened to us before. We weren't, I, you know, I didn't start off the school year knowing, okay, in the middle of the March, I'm going to be working from home. So I better, you know, get ready for that, prepare my students for that. Nobody was prepared for this. Uh, so we just have to take it one day at a time. Um, I know it can easily be frustrating and stressful. Trust me, I've had those days and I've, you know, spoken to those students where I can just tell are just like, holding the weight of the world on their shoulders and I'm like okay you know what like uh their unit on freedom riders can wait like we you know we'll get through this so um yeah like I said if you have any questions please leave them down below I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video